Hey, fish heads, it is Monday morning. Today is Monday, May the 11th. I finally know my days. Um, busy weekend, fun weekend. You guys got a spray session. I hope you've watched it. If not, just stop watching this right now. Go watch that. Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates, and this is your Monday update. Just a couple of pieces to show you guys this morning, but I want to start out with something really cool. I started this eight months ago, and I started this side and I have since worked into finishing the other side. This is my interpretation of a Stormtrooper on a Lucky Craft Magnum. It's a Skeet Reese 120 Mag DR. It's about three and a quarter ounces dressed with the hooks and it comes with hooks and stuff like that. So um, it's got some pretty big monster hooks. At 120 means that from nose to tail, not including the very long 25 foot diving bill, um, it's about five inches, roughly five inches long, just shy of that. Um, 120 millimeters is what that means. So the hooks that come with this thing are pretty big in their own right. They are one aughts and they're really decent. Lucky Craft is top of the line pretty much. I love all the stuff that comes out of them. And most of the blanks that you see have that Lucky Craft signature in them, like the 1.5 and 2.5 square bills for sure, and some of the 1.5 DDs. Um, they have a Y. It's it's characteristic of the Lucky Craft emblem, but for some reason, just about every 2.5 <laughs> and 1.5 that's on the market today as a blank, uh, which basically a, a knockoff or a replica, is copied from Lucky Craft. Uh, molds so just just to know uh, if, a little bit of knowledge there for you guys if you didn't already but this is the stormtrooper side and then on the other side this is the dark side lore um, then I did Kylo Ren's on the other side this is from um, Rise of Skywalker obviously his helmet was reattached and re put together by the Knights of Kylo so this is how that came out it's two sides stormtrooper and kylo obviously uh, i'm not going to throw any spoilers in there for you guys if you haven't seen the movie yet but if you're a disney plus member it is now on disney plus streaming for your entertainment so i'm a huge nerd big star wars junkie since i was a kid um i love them all I i've watched them all a bunch of times and i'll probably now that um disney's got this on because i'm a mandalorian fan too I like watching all the extras and the behind the scenes just because of editing and videos and stuff like that. I'm just, I'm just thrilled by it. So that's my little take on that. Super cool. Uh, it was sold yesterday as well. So thank you. Um, happy to get this. I'm going to put two more coats on this. This has got two coats on it. Whether you throw this or not, and I don't think that you're going to be throwing this. Oh, this is going to Dion Johnson. Um, I don't think they're going to throw it, but... Um, it's still going to have some extra layers of protection for you on there as well. This three piece right here is going out to David Dewar this morning. Um, we're just about finished with dressing. I just got to put the hooks and split rings on all this stuff. He asked for a three piece in exactly this style. He's a Missouri guy. So I would almost know or have an idea of where he's going to fish that. Um, just, just my thoughts on it. This is... The spring crappie on a wake bait. And that is also going out this morning, as is this natural trout. And that is done. That, oh, that beautiful pre-foiled holographic shimmer on these. Fun little trout there. This is a hot sticks craw on a wake. and a clear water gill. This is the way that um, Blue Breast Arter turned out. It has got uh, three coats on this and this is now available. So if you guys are interested in picking this up this week, uh, it won't hang out long. Most of this stuff normally does not, it goes pretty quick. But if you are interested in uh, owning this one yourself, um, shoot me a message with your email, first come, first serve, and we will figure it out. 
but fun little lure. These are from Racer Top Lures. Uh, Raymond Lou is your guy to get a hold of there. And I have done some testing with this, and it is a really, really decent running blank. Uh, just, just saying. So, this is the last one. This is just a plum shad. Also, you can just see a little of, a hint of that holographic foil. This is from Dinger. This is that S pressing he does that's signature to him. Obviously, it's that, uh, that party crank that we all know and love from across the Pacific. But this is just a really good pressing, and I love showing it off. And that is going to be a dynamo. This is also available, too, but I'm probably going to auction this one. Uh, if you guys follow my Facebook feeds and stuff, um, Bass Baits by and Barter. So this will probably get on today or tomorrow, probably more than likely tomorrow because I'm doing orders today uh, all week trying to get caught up. So we're getting there. Got a lot of stuff going out this morning. Got some more stuff over on the clear coat rack that you guys are going to see later on this week. And that, my friends, is all the news that's fit to print. I hope, hope you have a fantastic week. Morning, day, afternoon, evening, whenever it is you guys are watching this video. And as always, I appreciate the view. And please keep on fishing. Happy casting. Enjoy your day. Go get out and enjoy nature. The graphics are incredible. See you guys later.